This TerraFlex rear track bar bracket is for those of you that have a 2007 to 2018 JK with three to six inches of lift on it that are looking for a rear track bar bracket to help get some of your rear suspension geometry back into check. This is going to adjust your roll center, getting it a little bit closer back to factory so that the Jeep handles and rides a little bit closer to a factory ride. This is not going to completely replace an adjustable rear track bar in your Jeep. This is more for a roll center. The adjustable track bar is more for recentering the axle underneath the vehicle, so do keep that in mind. This is going to be a pretty easy one out of three wrench installation, and I'll show you how to get it installed in just a second. So this rear track bar bracket is going to be one of two different options available from TerraFlex. I really like this one. It's very, very strong, not just from TerraFlex, but even in the market, it's one of the better ones that you can get. And the reason for that is the fact that it attaches to the axle in three different locations. One spot here where the factory track bar would attach onto the axle, down here at your rear lower control arm bolt, and then over here with the U-bolt around the axle itself. So the fact that it attaches in three different places means it's going to be very, very strong. As you raise up this track bar mounting point, you can add a lot of additional leverage and a lot of additional stress in this area. And if you get any motion out of that bracket, it can actually feel like the Jeep is swaying a little bit. The back end can be moving over top of the axle. So you want that to be really solid, and that's what this bracket is going to give you. This is gonna be nice, beefy, strong steel covered in a black powder coat finish so it is going to hold up very well as well being underneath the vehicle where it's exposed to all of the elements. So this is going to be a track bar bracket that's going to be a little bit more expensive than some of the other options because of the way that it's built. Again, there are less expensive ones. There are other ones, even from TerraFlex and from a lot of other brands, but I don't think they do as good of a job. If you have the budget for it, I'd recommend stepping up to this one. And for a little over $106, I still think it's going to be a pretty good deal for you. So now I'm going to show you how to get this installed. We have the Jeep up in the air just so you guys can see what we're doing a little bit better, but it's actually easier to do this when the Jeep is under its own weight and on the ground. It'll make it a lot easier to bolt up the track bar after the new bracket's installed. You won't have to worry about the axle sagging and moving around. And in general, there won't be any load on this bolt at all when you remove it. So what we've done, even though we do have it in the air, again, so you can see it a little bit better, we added a couple of tall jack stands under here just to support the weight of the axle itself. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and first remove this 22 millimeter bolt that holds the track bar onto the axle side bracket. The next bolt we have to remove for this installation is right here. This is the lower control arm bolt where the control arm fastens to the axle. Once those two bolts are removed, you can grab your track bar bracket and start with the installation. We're gonna set the bracket in place over top of the factory track bar mount on the axle. And the first bolt we're going to reattach is that control arm bolt that we just took back out. We're gonna make that finger tight so that we can go ahead and attach the rest of the hardware before tightening everything down. Once you have the control arm bolt in place, you can put the nut on finger tight. After that, we'll install the supplied bolt through the new bracket and through the factory track bar mount on the axle. While you're doing that, you're going to be installing this very beefy crush sleeve that's so that when we tighten this down, and we do want this pretty tight, that it doesn't just crush both the factory bracket and your new bracket. Once the spacer is installed, you can go ahead and install the nut and bolt hardware. After that bolt's in place, you'll install the U-bolt around the axle.
The last step in the installation is to reinstall the factory track bar bolt into the track bar to hold it into your new track bar bracket. Now, as you can see on the new track bar bracket, there are a total of three different holes that you can mount the track bar in. And as you change that setting, you're gonna be changing the roll center of the vehicle, so how the vehicle handles when it goes around a corner. So you can try a couple of different settings, see what you like best. That will also depend on how high your lift is, how high your actual vehicle sits, depending on the weight of it. There are a lot of factors that go into which one of these holes you should be using. Some people just like to pick the middle one, set it and forget it. Others will play with it. That's really up to you. But what we're gonna do today is go ahead and put the track bar in that center hole. So if you're looking for a rear track bar bracket to adjust the rear suspension geometry a little closer to factory when you have three to six inches of lift, I would recommend this option from Terraflex and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.